Oracle VM VirtualBox and Hyper-V are both virtualization tools that businesses use to create virtual machines. Both of them are popular tools used for software development, server virtualization, and for ensuring workstations can meet the requirements for all of the software that they use. If your business needs a virtualization tool, it can be hard to choose between these two, especially since they're both available for free. So let's talk about the differences between VirtualBox and Hyper-V and figure out which one might be right for your business. The biggest difference between Oracle VM VirtualBox and Hyper-V is that they function as different types of hypervisors. A hypervisor is the part of the software that creates and manages the virtual machines. Hyper-V is a Type 1 hypervisor. This means that Hyper-V runs directly on the computer's hardware. This can make Hyper-V a little less user-friendly compared to other options, as it's a little complex when it comes to implementing and installing it compared to other options. It requires users to enable the tool from PowerShell, which can be tricky for new users. Additionally, users will have to have Windows 10 Pro or Education in order to enable the tool. This can be an added expense and inconvenience for businesses that aren't using Windows machines or who are using an older version of Windows. Despite these limitations, there are several benefits to a Type 1 hypervisor once it's been implemented. The first benefit is speed. Hyper-V offers high-performance virtual machines that are simple to manage once they've been created, and as long as the host machine is running, the virtual machines will be running too, so you can generally count on Hyper-V being pretty reliable. On the flip side, Oracle VM VirtualBox is a Type 2 hypervisor, which means it functions as software that is installed onto a device rather than being directly on the hardware. This will make Oracle VM VirtualBox easy to implement for anyone familiar with installing basic business software. Once the software is installed, though, users may find that creating and managing virtual machines with VirtualBox is a little more involved and complex compared to Hyper-V, since they have to be turned on and off manually. The other major advantage of a Type 2 hypervisor is that VirtualBox isn't very picky about the host computer's operating system, so you'll be able to use it on more operating systems than just Windows 10 Pro or Education. In addition to providing different types of hypervisors, Oracle VM VirtualBox and Hyper-V specialize in slightly different use cases. Hyper-V primarily supports Windows guest operating systems in addition to a couple Linux distributions. This makes it an ideal tool for tasks like Windows Server virtualization, as its virtual machines are high performance and reliable, but if you need to run niche Linux distributions or Mac OS, then you'll need to consider other options. Oracle VM VirtualBox supports a wide variety of guest operating systems including Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, but the nature of the VirtualBox hypervisor will mean that those virtual machines will generally not be as high performing as they would be if they were made using Hyper-V. Still, if you need a non-Windows operating system as your guest OS, VirtualBox will support you better than Hyper-V can. Another limitation of VirtualBox is that it's more difficult to manage after it's been implemented since machines aren't just run automatically along with the hardware. In terms of pricing, both Hyper-V and Oracle VM VirtualBox are available for free, but there are some considerations that users should keep in mind when you're choosing one over the other. Hyper-V requires Windows 10 Pro, so if you have a different version of Windows, you should calculate that in as an expense as you'll have to switch or update your operating system in order to use it. Similarly, Oracle VM VirtualBox is free and open source, but Oracle does offer pre-built development packages of VirtualBox that are available for a fee. These pre-built packages can be useful for businesses that are concerned about implementing and managing machines themselves and don't mind paying to alleviate that concern. With all of that in mind, Hyper-V is a great tool that is specialized in specifically Windows virtualization while offering a small amount of support for some Linux distributions. This makes it fantastic for tasks like server virtualization, where users can count on Hyper-V for high-performance, reliable virtual machines. In contrast, Oracle VM VirtualBox is a great tool for things like software development and programming, where users often need to use packages that are only supported by specific operating systems that may not be Windows or may be some niche version of Linux that isn't supported by Hyper-V. And while these virtual machines may not be as high-performing as one made in Hyper-V, they will usually be performant enough for the use of most programmers. It is worth noting that if you're thinking that you need both software development support and server virtualization support, that you can use both Oracle VM VirtualBox and Hyper-V. 
In fact, they can run on a single machine, and all of the footage gathered for this video is on a machine that's running both Hyper-V and Oracle VirtualBox. And since both options are free, the only additional cost to using both is that implementing and managing two virtualization tools is a little more complex than managing one. But not by too much, there's a lot of skills that carry over, so if you need both, don't be afraid to use both. If you still aren't sure which tool is right for you, consider checking out some verified reviews on TrustRadius.com. All reviews on TrustRadius are posted by verified users of the products who share their thoughts based on their experience, background, and industry. If you use either of these products, we would also love to hear your thoughts in the form of a review at TrustRadius.com. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like it, be sure to hit the subscribe button so that you never miss a video.